I didn't have an electrical desoldering tool, so Banggood sent me this S993A model to try out. It comes in a 110 volt version and has a built-in vacuum pump. It comes with a tip that has a 1mm opening, but different size tips can be bought separately. I received a couple of those as well. There's some extra filters and cleanout rods to help keep solder from building up inside the nozzle and reservoir. The unit can be adjusted from 350 to 450 degrees Celsius. It feels sturdy and well balanced in the hand. And it comes with a metal base that the unit docks in, has space for a wet sponge to wipe the tip off if needed, and this base is very solid and heavy. It's not going anywhere. The solder reservoir easily opens up for emptying by pulling back and just lifting it out. It has a filter and a metal backstop where molten solder can hit there and cool down. So when reinstalling this after emptying it, just make sure it sits properly in place around these rubber seals on both ends so that the vacuum works properly. The exposed metal tip is grounded to earth, so that's good. Let's see if we can pull some through-hole headers out of a board. I haven't used an automatic extractor like this in years, so I'll have to get used to how this one works and try different techniques. In order to melt the solder, just like with an iron, we have to make sure the tip is making contact with the pin. So I'm moving the tip around and making sure all metal parts of the joint are in contact with it. If the parts don't immediately drop out of the board, the part can maybe be moved around slightly to break the pins free of any remaining bonds. Or worst case, I found if I just repeat the process, heating up the pin and trying to pull the trigger again, I managed to get all the headers out without having to add any new solder to the pins and start all over. When I'm using those manual vacuum pumps, Sometimes I find I don't get all the solder out and then I have to add new solder to the pin so that there's something to work with. But this tool seems to be able to just pull it all out. I also wanted to see if the unit can extract solder from pins in a multi-layer PCB and with a lot of ground copper to have to heat up first. I have this old video card with lots of copper, but I do need to still use it in an old system, so I just want to do a few test pins. It looks like I'm able to pull the solder out of the small pinholes and I'm able to heat up this large copper area enough to extract solder from there. So if I really needed to remove these parts, I believe I can do it, especially when I swap the tip so I get the right size opening for the pin that I'm targeting. Before turning it off, just use the clean out rod to make sure there's no solder stuck in the unit. And if necessary, if it's time, empty the reservoir and it'll be ready for the next repair job. So far I like how this tool is performing and I look forward to having it available for those times where desoldering braids or manual vacuum extractors just don't seem to work. Thanks to Banggood for sending this to try out and thanks for watching.